Hi everybody, my name is Carly Stong and I've been getting a ton of messages on my Instagram from people asking me for some relief for tension through the eyes, tension headaches, and um, just headaches in general. So today, along with some of our yoga practices, I want to introduce to you a few simple exercises that you can do right from where you sit throughout your day that's going to help to relieve some of the fatigue that a lot of us are feeling from being on Zoom calls and uh, FaceTime and just behind our devices a lot. So the first thing that I'd like you to do, if you're able to, is sit yourself near a window that you can look out of. If you're not near a window, maybe bring your gaze on something that brings you joy that's not your computer screen, just for a few moments. Maybe it's um, a plant that you have close by or a photo from somewhere that you visited um, that you really love. But you're going to bring your gaze to that thing. So I'm going to gaze out my window for just a moment here. Let your eyes kind of blur or soften so that you're not really focusing too intently on that object. But you can still see the shape of it, the color of it. If you're looking out of a window, let your gaze go as far away as possible. Look at the object that you see furthest in the distance. And this gives the muscles behind your eyeballs a bit of a chance to release any tension. We tend to look in the same frame in front of us, in the same sort of field of vision. So blurring your eyes in this way or looking at something as far away as possible, those are great practices that you can do to not only take a few mindful breaths, but also to allow these muscles a moment to rest. And then you're welcome to continue to look at that object or out the window. If the eyes are starting to feel a little more relaxed, a little softer, maybe closing through the eyes or letting your eyelids draw heavy so that you're gazing down to the tops of your cheeks. And then whether your eyes are open or closed, I want you to envision the face of a clock right in front of you. Almost like your center in the clock and it's parallel to your face. So you're looking right at it. And then bring your eyeballs straight up to 12 o'clock. So as far up as you can without moving your head. Then over to one, two, as far to the right as you can for three, four, five. Moving the eyes straight down for six, over to the left, seven, eight, all the way to the left for nine, up for 10, 11, and you're back at 12. From there, you're gonna go reverse. So from 12 o'clock to 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then letting the eyes relax. Taking a couple of mindful breaths. You can look back to the screen if you need to, but if you can follow with just my voice, you're more than welcome to continue to look away from the screen. 
you're going to take your peace fingers or just your pointer finger or maybe the knuckles of those fingers and try to find the jaw. So try to do it on both sides. It's more challenging because I have the microphone, but you're going to find the place where the two bones of your jaw come back to meet. Maybe open and close your mouth a couple of times to find where that is. And then you can rub kind of towards your ear, towards your cheeks, towards your ear, towards your cheeks, or you can make little circles, whatever feels good for you. And then again, on both sides, I'll just turn so you can see from that um, joint where the jaw meets, you're going to slide either two fingers or the knuckles down. So I'm on either side of my jaw here all the way down towards my chin and then back up towards the jaw. So I'm going to use the knuckles. So I just find they slide a little easier towards my chin on both sides, back up towards the ear. And you're in control with how much pressure you're putting here up towards the ear. Then from there, you're going to run along the top jaw. So it's almost like you're trying to scoop under and lift up the top jaw. It kind of looks funny when I'm this close, but try to let the bottom jaw really slacken as you do this. All the way towards the bridge of your nose, and then you can follow up and down the sinuses. So now we're along like the very top of the cheekbone, up and down. And you could do that for as often, you could do that as often or for as long as you'd like. This is something that I like to do if I'm on a call where someone else is speaking. It's an easy exercise to do once I've sanitized or washed my hands. Afterwards, sitting for a moment and allowing for your jaw to really slacken. So we spend a lot of time holding the jaw up and sometimes that can lead to clenching, which can be attributed a lot of times to headaches. So as you let your jaw slack in here, I'll, which I'll do in just a moment when I'm done speaking, you'll notice that the tongue might um, get kind of wide across the base of the bottom teeth. The muscles under the bottom of your eyes kind of soften. Still try to breathe in and out through the nose even though the mouth is open in this way. And then in a moment after you've practice letting the jaw slacken. You're going to kind of give your head a bit of a shake if it's not going to cause you any tension or discomfort in your neck to do so. Imagine like when a dog shakes off its fur. You want everything to be really loose so much so that you might notice the tongue in the mouth almost like wagging back and forth or coming slightly out of the mouth. So it looks something like this. lost my mic. <laughs> but as you do that, you'll notice that the jaw itself kind of shifts side to side. And it, it's a very passive way for you to release some tension through the face, through the jaw. I'm going to hold my head and do it again. So if that feels good for you, feel free give that a little shake, especially before you move into any speaking events. Now, the last thing that we're going to do here, let's go back to gazing out of the window or at something away from the screen. You can let your mouth close if you'd like or continue to practice slackening through the jaw. Breathing in and out through the nose if you're able.
You can let your eyes close if you'd like. Placing the feet flat on the floor if you're able to. So maybe adjusting your seat to be lower so that you're able to do so. And really focus on the energy or the sensation of the feet making contact with the earth. Your seat making contact with the chair. Taking in fresh oxygen up high in the elevation of your nose while remaining connected down into your feet and your foundation, into your seat of support. Knowing that this practice is available to you anytime that you need it and is most effective if you're able to integrate these short practices throughout your day. I'd like to take a moment to thank you for joining me to give gratitude to the people upon whose land we live and practice and gratitude to our teachers who've brought this practice along to us to share even through the screens for now and that you can be as well as possible as you do so and I'll see you again soon.